Hi, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips to help prevent and treat marijuana use. Tip number one is first of all, understand the physical health problems that are caused by marijuana use. Let's start with lung problems. Marijuana smoke has three times the amount of tar of tobacco smoke and 50% more of the agents that cause cancer than a cigarette. Pulmonary, when lung function testing is done, pulmonary vital capacity, which is the ability of the lungs to take in oxygen, is decreased in, in people who use marijuana regularly. Also, the diffusing capacity of the lung, or the lung's ability to transfer oxygen into blood, is decreased in individuals who smoke tobacco and marijuana compared to just individuals who smoke tobacco. So the additional um, effect of marijuana is to decrease the ability of the lung to absorb oxygen into the bloodstream. Marijuana also causes an irritation to the lungs, which can often lead to a, a dry cough, can lead to wheezing, bronchitis, as well as can trigger asthma exacerbations in people with underlying asthma. In addition to lung problems, uh, marijuana use can affect the heart. It causes an inc marijuana use causes an increased, increased heart rate as well as an increased cardiac output, which is the amount of blood your, your heart pushes out. Marijuana can cause angina, which is chest pain that's caused by not enough oxygen getting to your heart. And it can cause, especially in people with heart disease, and among people who use marijuana and have a heart attack, it's five, it's five times more likely to occur. A heart attack is five times more likely to occur, occur within the first hour after marijuana use in people with um, so in, in marijuana smokers who have a heart attack, it, they're five times more likely to have that heart attack within an hour of smoking marijuana. Also, marijuana use causes reproductive problems. It's been shown to lower the testosterone level in men, which can lead to decreased sex drive, as well as impotence, trouble having it, getting an erection in other words, and breast enlargement. In women, it can increase prolactin, which can lead to breast discharge and menstrual irregularities. And in pregnant women, it can impair the baby's growth and ultimately the baby's intelligence, and it can increase the baby's risk of developing hyperactivity, depression, and substance abuse later in life. And lastly, for health problems, brain problems. So mothers who smoke while they are pregnant can ultimately have babies with lower intelligence as adults. And teenagers who smoke can have an impact, a negative impact on their cognitive development, the development of their brain. So that was tip number one, understanding the physical health problems that are caused by smoking marijuana. Tip number two is understanding the mental health problems. Anxiety, panic attacks, and depression can be triggered by marijuana use. And these mood disorders as a, as a whole group occur in 60% of those who regularly smoke marijuana. Also, in people with schizophrenia, marijuana use can trigger psychosis or psychotic episodes. Tip number three, understand the, the societal or the, um, the impact on your interactions with other people that marijuana use can cause. So marijuana use decreases your reaction time and impairs attention, concentration, short-term memory, and risk assessment. So you're more likely to make bad decisions. And drivers are up to seven times more likely to get into accidents when they're smoking marijuana than when they're not. Regular users are four times more likely to commit crimes in general. That's probably because of their decreased ability to make good decisions and their decreased ability to understand risks compared to non-marijuana users. Tip number four. So we've talked about 
uh, tip number one was the physical health problems. Tip number two was the mental health problems. Tip number three was the societal and, and um, criminal possible impact of marijuana use. Tip number four is that marijuana use is, can, can be considered a gateway drug in addition to alcohol and tobacco, meaning that marijuana users are more likely to become users of other illegal drugs such as cocaine, stimulants, hallucinogens, opioids, and sedatives. Tip number five. So we've covered mental, physical, societal um, problems. We've covered that marijuana is, can be, lead to use of other drugs. Tip number five is that it can impact your motivation and uh, ultimately lead to being less successful in life. So marijuana use is responsible for what's called the amotivational syndrome. It impairs occupational functioning, increases teenagers' risks of dropping out of school, and adults' risks of being unemployed. Regular users are less likely to graduate from college and are, more and are less likely to earn more than $30,000 a year. So in other words, people who smoke marijuana regularly are less likely to earn $30,000 or more a year. So we've talked about all the problems and the, the risks associated with marijuana use. Tip number six is what you can do to prevent it or treat it. So if you suspect you're, if you're a parent or you care for someone who smokes marijuana, it's important to talk about it openly and identify the problem and discuss the risks that I've described above. Tip number seven is find healthy ways to deal with stress, specifically exercise. So marijuana use is often used to deal with stress and exercise is a much more productive and healthy way to deal with stress. It's recommended that all adults exercise for at least 30 minutes a day on most if not all days of the week. Tip number eight is see your doctor. If you're smoking marijuana regularly or if you know a loved one who's smoking marijuana regularly, go see the doctor. Marijuana use is often caused by, is often do, is, is, is often used to treat undiagnosed anxiety and depression. So you may actually have an anxiety disorder or depression or panic attacks that are leading you to cause mar to use marijuana. And there are effective treatments to for those conditions so that you're not covering them up with marijuana, but you could actually have them um, treated effectively. For You could actually treat your depression or treat your anxiety instead of using marijuana to escape from your feelings. And tip number nine is um, ask your doctor about psychotherapy. So psychotherapy has been proven to help people come off of marijuana use. Um, Cognitive behavioral therapy is where you would work with your therapist to understand what led to marijuana use, how it affects your life, and why it's hard for you to stop. Another form of therapy is motivational interviewing, which can help you identify in yourself your own reasons for using marijuana and your own reasons for wanting to quit. And tip number 10 is to believe in yourself. Marijuana use is extremely common and it has significant impacts on your health and well-being. I hope some of these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.